Hello everyone, I'll be baking a focaccia bread with an Asian twist today. I'll be needing the Angel Instant Dry Yeast, some sugar, and of course, lukewarm water. Give it a little stir and let it set for 10 minutes. While we're waiting, we can also prepare the flour for the dough. I've put together about two and a half cups of German wheat flour type 405 and a cup of cereal premix, both from Bar Creations. They're really wonderful when you mix together. They're gonna give your bread a beautiful, sexy tan. And this is how I like my bread to be. Here's 340 ml of water. And I also have 20 grams of the focaccia active sourdough about one and a half teaspoon of salt and uh, two and a half teaspoon of olive oil. Ta-da! I think my yeast is ready. All right, and um, let's get down to business. And so, when into the bowl was the focaccia active sourdough as well as my salt. And now, I'm ready for my wet ingredients after I give it a stir. everything together until it becomes a dough and ready for some handwork. This is about fine and so it's time for you to rub your hands in olive oil and let them dive into the bowl. It's play-doh time. This is my favorite part about baking and I always look forward to touching and kneading the dough. you transfer your dough into the bowl for it to chillax in the refrigerator. Remember to oil it completely so your dough is not gonna stick to the bowl. Plop your dough in. Oil your hands a little more and you can give it a little massage before the dough goes into the refrigerator. Remember to drizzle some oil on the top of the dough so that it doesn't dry up. Cling wrap to go over the bowl and cover it completely. And now it's time for our little doughy to get some beauty sleep. I've been waiting and waiting. Finally, 17 hours have passed. Well, have you already guessed what kind of an Asian twist I'm giving to my focaccia? Well, if you hadn't, here you go. I'm going to reveal very, very soon. Here's our little doughy after 17 hours of beauty sleep. And now it's all plumped up and bubbly. It's time for us to remove it and put it into the pan. And oh yes, please remember to oil the inside of your pan before your dough gets in. It's time for some stretching, pulling and folding. And once you're happy with the dough, remember to use your fingers and cook holes into the dough. Let it rest for 30 minutes before all else. So I prepared curry leaves, onions, as well as garlic. And more importantly, I've got curry fish. Woo! to another exciting part about the focaccia bread. It's adding the toppings. So traditionally, the Italians will be using stuffs like rosemary or even tomatoes. But this time round, I'm gonna give it an Asian twist. I call this the fish curry wholemeal focaccia. Oops, I hope the Italians will not be mad at me. And I'm so excited that I need to let it cool on the cooling tray before it's cut open. Let's wait for 20 minutes. Let's take a look at the cross section of the bread. Beautiful air pockets over there. And did you remember this sexy tan color? Well, this is because I'll 
the cereal premixes that we've added to the dough. And not only that, it gives off a truly roasty aroma. See, it's so springy and moist. Dance! And this is so beautiful. I'm gonna have my Italian indulgence with an Asian twist. See you next time. Bye!